Welcome to Flotsam, folks! I am so excited that this game is finally here. It's gonna be a lot of fun to play, I think. I have played just a little bit to just to learn the mechanics, but now we're going to jump into a real game. So, what is Flotsam? Flotsam is a floating city builder where you have to build your city out of scrap, uh, floating around, out of wood, out of uh, plastic, out of a bit of metal and so on. And you need to pick up some villagers here and there and, and other stuff to keep your town growing and keep your town moving as well. So it's a city build builder survivor, you might say. So let's uh, start a new game and uh, jump in. Uh, before we do that, I just want to say that uh, the game is available in early access on Steam. And it's developed by uh, Pajama Llama Games. And I think they've done a really, really good job. So congratulations to you. All right. So, well, that's it then. Garbage floods, garbage floods wiped away our, our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking on these useless rocks and go explore. Who needs land? These endless blue waves, that's all we need. The flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish the plastic into beautiful pearls. If only we weren't out of fuel. What shall we call our new town? Well, it's going to be called Nerdacity. Mm, that's not spelled right. Nerdacity. There we go. And let's start our adventure. So here we have our town. And look at those graphics. Let me just pause. Even though it doesn't look as good when it's paused. Let's not pause. So we have our town heart here, and we have our people who are standing around here. And then we have some junk floating around out here. Now, the fir very first thing we need is to get some plastic. So let's put down a buoy out here and pick up some plastic. And we will sell all three peeps that we have. We have three people right now to go and pick up plastic. And they will sw swim out there and, yeah, just have a whole lot of fun. Look at that. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure they think it's that much fun. Who knows, there's probably sharks and yeah. stuff in there, but I think it's fun. So, yeah. So, all right. So they are gathering and we now have some plastic. We need a little bit more. So let's just speed up things up a little bit. I think the middle uh, fast speed here is probably the best to, to go on more or less permanently. So, all right, so let's bring up the build menu and we want to build a walkway here. So let's build a walkway out. And we can do up to 42 plastic. So we'll build a walkway like that. All right. Now, we're getting some wet wood in as well. And we need to dry that wood to be turned into something that is actually useful. So wood is not just immediately useful. So let's see, what do we have left here? 15 wood and 64 plastic. That's fine. Now let's reduce this to one swimmer and let's place another buoy another swimming buoy and place it over here where there's a lot more wood because we need both All right now in order to dry our wet wood we need some drying racks so let's place one there oh that was a small storage chart my bad let's not place that there we need a drying rack where is it there it is, drying rack. So let's put a drying rack in there. And one more. Close as possible to the other one. And I think we'll put one more in there. Once we can. Alright. We have one swimmer over there picking up plastic, one over here picking up mainly wood. And one guy who was mainly building. Two guys were building now. And that's all great. There's the first one. We need to tell it the recipe and it's going to dry wood. It can also dry fish. 
but we are going to drive wood in this instance. Okay, so we have 12 plastic and 11 wood right now. Now, we do need to make a woodworking shed as well. But I think before we get to that, let's put in this third one here. And then we will build a, a small storage yard as well. Over here for all the, the dried wood. So in here we don't actually want wet wood when, uh, or dried wood when we are done with, with this uh, small storage yard. So hopefully you are coming with some plastic. Mm, no, but hopefully you are. You can click the guys and see what they're car carrying at the moment. Uh, he did have a little bit of plastic. So we can spill, build this small storage yard over here. Let's do that. And now we need this uh, woodworking shed. Oh, we need to set the recipes for these guys. And for now at least, the recipes are going to be dry wood. So here we go. Slapping the wood on there. And there we go. Pretty cool. Alright. So we have a small storage yard. Let's uh, increase this to two so that he at least has something to do. Oh, we don't want dry wood in there and in here. We want none and we only want dry wood. Alright. Now. We are doing okay for water, okay for fish, for now. And we have enough to build our woodworking hut here. Or what's it called? We're woodworking shed. So let's get that built. And be happy about that. Now, we need a distiller as well. can almost build that. And we need a small storage yard. Well, I think we'll put it over here. And then we'll build the distiller here. Like that. We'll put firewood, firewood in this, so that it's right next to, let's see, we want none, and then we want firewood. And in here we need to tell this woodworking shed to do what it needs to do. These are all information about what you can do. I don't think I need to look at those, so we're going to skip them a bit. We'll build two pieces of rope, and then we'll build some firewood. Because we need rope in order to make boats. And boats are going to be fantastic. Okay. So you are set. Yes. Let's see how much plastic do we have. We have six. We need more than that. We need quite a bit more plastic, actually. So let's... Wait till we get that. Right, so this we're just going to say auto queue, just make fre fresh water as soon as there's fuel, make fresh water. And here we can now see that the guys are working. Who are you? I can't see who what. But uh, we can see our people down here. Uh, salvaging some floats. Some you can see he's a torpedo. He moves fast. That moves faster. And new world, a temporary re rejuvenating feeling. He has three plastic on him right now. And we have salty, who is recycling items. He is drowsy, gets tired faster, and also new world. And then we have snores, who is dry mouth, gets thirsty faster 
than the world, which isn't great. Yeah. Right. So here we can set uh, priorities uh, for them, but for now, at least, I'm just going to leave it all at the standard. Right, so we have some wood now, or uh, plastic, sorry. So let's build a... Cold here. A walkway out there. Alright. And then we'll put our boat, boat uh, parking spots there. The mooring points, they're called. Okay. So things are going pretty well. We are distilling water. Uh, we. Let's just make some more firewood. Why did you have. Start jar. Okay, so let's see. None, and we only want wet wood. No, we only want dry wood. There. And here we don't want dry wood in there. We want everything else in there. Okay. Good, good. And here we have the firewood and let's build our first mooring point I think we'll build it over here and we want to build one more I think but oh, yeah. uh, maybe not right now and we are this buoy got removed so let's put down a new one here and just tell one guy to go there So they are sleepy, but that's fine. They, uh, it's okay to be a little bit tired when you're building up your city. So here we go. We are building the mooring point. We have a ton of firewood here that needs to be t delivered over there. We're out of wet wood, which is why this uh, is missing items. That's okay. Here we go. Now that dude is swimming out. So over here we have a sailboat on the rocks. So some drifter tried making a town on that island. Bad idea. With all the garbage floods. A sailboat has been wrecked on the cliffs though. Perhaps we can make use of its mast. So we need to go salvage uh, this mast, four rope and some metal scrap. And in order to do that we need to make a salvage boat. Which we can't right now because we're missing plastic. But uh, hopefully these guys will bring some back. He's picking up wood, wood, plastic, plastic, wood. That's too bad. Right, what you. do you have? You have one plastic for wood. So we need some more plastic. That's a priority right now. How much firewood do we have here? Six. We have plenty of dry wood. So let's just do that. So two. One dry wood makes what? Makes two firewood. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go, guys. Speed up. Where? Oh, look at the whale over here. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool whale. Pretty scary whale, too. Alright. Okay, so over here we have the sailboat on the rocks. And we're going to go and salvage that as soon as we can. Look at the isn't it cool? I, I really, really enjoy the graphics in this game. I think they're really cool and fun. Love it. Alright, let's see. Do we have enough to build a scouting boat? No, we still need 
four more plastic. Come on, guys, bring in some plastic. Let's just say no, we don't want wood. And here, let's remove this marker and just say put two on this. Come on, guys. Why do we have dry wood or wet wood in there? Oh, we don't. We have rope, which needs to be moved. Which I'm not sure that it will, actually. I hope so. Alright, so those guys are picking up plastic now. You are out of jobs, but we have some firewood, and we have one guy making water. We are, we are up to 20 water, which is pretty good. And, yeah. We have two water here in the export. I'm pretty happy about this. So now we have enough to build our scavenging boat. So let's do that. Those guys are working on it again, making firewood, making water. We now have four water in the output. Very good. Okay. This is going quite well. For now at least. For now at least. Right, let us, let's go guys. Let's get this uh, salvage boat built. Please. Oh, thank you. Here he comes. Gonna drop off some goods for the boat. And it's pretty cool that there's this parking sign on the mooring point. I love that. Very cool. We need to build another mooring point. So let's do it. Yeah. And we're going to need a fishing boat. There we have it, the salvage boat. So now we can click here and say, go salvage this stuff. And the boat is really cool, actually. Look at it. Here it goes off for the stuff. Very cool. Pretty fast roller. All right, and up. Here he climbs, pick up stuff from the sailboat. What did we get? Uh, five metals so far. Sticking it there in the net on the side, uh, on between the outrigger and the actual boat. There goes the mast and some rope. And we have salvaged this sailboat on the rocks. In goes the stuff. And off he is on his way home to drop it off. He's gonna. Oh, he's gonna hit that. Nope. That was gonna hit that wood. But there we go. We have that stuff built. So now we can put in a buoy for the boat, which is a much faster because these guys they swim pretty slow, and can only carry five items at a time. The boat sails faster and it can carry 10 items at a time. So we can get a lot more stuff done. And we can build our new fishing boat. Now the boats will moor to any of these points. It doesn't matter. You could, I could have built the fishing boat out here. It would still be fine. And there he goes back with eight plastic, two wood. And then we just need to oh, 
bringing stuff over for the fishing boat and now he's emptying out the salvage boat here. Very good. And the fishing boat is being built. Outstanding. So here we have 60 plastic that we can pick up, which is fine I think. And we can build our sail here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll build it right uh, here. All right. And back with some more plastic. And more plastic for us. We do need to get some wood as well. So let's uh, remove this and put in a new one. Which covers some wood as well. All right. And we have our fishing boat now, and look at this, it has a little fish fin here, and a little sail as well, very very cool. So let's see, where are there some fish, where are the closest fish? Uh, there's none there, there's some over here on the other side of the island, there's some up here. So let's put down a fishing buoy. and. I think there's always 25 fish in a school of fish. Mm. I haven't seen any different, at least, so mm. for now that is going to be my assumption. And off he goes to go fishing and pick up some fish for us. Which means that we need more... Well, where's our town? There. We need some more uh, drying racks. So let's build that. And we'll build one there. Oh, that's not a drying rack. Oh. Come on. Uh, deconstruct you. Come on. Why can't I deconstruct? Deconstruct you. Okay. Oh well. Uh, what we want is these. We'll put a drying rack there. Hopefully there's room for one more, but I don't think there is. If there isn't, then too bad. We can put them over here as well, which is fine. And this storage will just be for uh, wet fish. Which uh, I'm guessing is the state that fish is happiest at being in, but we prefer them dried, so... Alright, so we're going to say none, and we're going to say nibble fish. Okay, and there we go, we have our first, I think, 10 fish coming in, and they need to be dried on the drying racks, which we need more plastic for, so if the salvage boat could please go out again, well, we need to empty it first, which is fine, because there is plastic in it. Maybe we should build some storage points here for plastic and maybe wet wood. Yeah, I think so. Right, so there's another... No, we can't fit it in there. Dang it. All right, but we can fit two over here. I'm pretty sure. Right, this one got built and we'll say just dry fish. Just have dried fish in the town center, I guess. No nibble fish, though. Okay, no firewood either. That's fine. Okay. I think we need to make probably some more. Why didn't I? So, this is really annoying on the storage yards. Whenever something new is found, it's added as an item that you can store there, which is fine. Yeah, because, I mean, if it was all just there, then you would kind of know what was coming and take a bit of the fun out. But instead of making it active when, when adding it to the list of items so that it's active and can be stored there, then I think they should add it as inactive. No, you're not allowed to be stored there until some, someone tells you that it's okay. 
Because it's a little bit annoying that you're getting this other stuff in spots where you don't really want it. There we go. So we have wet fish over here. We have firewood there when that gets emptied out. We do want to make some more firewood because we want to make water. And we want plastic and all of the stuffs. Very good. So now that we have salvaged this boat, we could actually go to the map here and sail on to this next uh, map, which is Lonely Island. There appears to be a person in need of rescue. We should put them on a boat. So that is going to be our next destination. You can see there are destinations or arrows here indicating which way you can go. And then you need oil, I guess, to move on here and on the diagonals. And you can't move the map, so I can't show you more than there is. But it seems that directly to the right is sails and then diagonals is by oil. So it's going to be interesting to move on to the next map, which I have never tried. I have never been on the next map. Okay, how are we looking here? We have some dry wood. This has nothing in it. Where are our peeps? What are they doing? Alright guys. One of our people is fishing. He's there. Then we have one guy there who is picking up dry wood and delivering it there. Okay, good. And then we have a guy here. I don't know what he was doing. Now he's picking up dry wood and storing it up. Okay. That's fine. So he is making firewood now, which means that we can make more water, which we need to do. Okay. So I think we'll speed time up a little bit here. And just get a, li a few more resources out of this area before we move on, because there are there are more resources here. There's a lot more fish, and there is wood and plastic and so on. So I think we'll do that. So let's place down the buoy here, and we'll place one over on this plastic over here. There. And then we will place a fishing buoy here and a fishing buoy here. And I don't think there are more the fish that we can get, right? There. Right. So we'll be picking all of this stuff up. Oh, you need to be set to fish. I only think we need two to be set to fish and then we'll set four to firewood or to dry wood. And we'll make some more firewood. Okay. We have this. Just seven plastic left. Go get it, please. And this guy, he is just constantly making water. We are down to 11 water now, which is not good. So I think we'll just put this on auto queue when the stuff is done. We'll just make more, which is fine. How many fish do we have stored up? We have nine dried fish and we have 13 nibble fish. And there just came 10 more in. And we have five plastic there. All right. I think we're doing pretty well. Emptying out the boat. Very good. Do we have any dry wood? Nope. Which is okay. Go get yourself some fish. Okay. So 
we're, we're getting fish in. Now, these dry fish, they only have a nutritional value of 0 0.5. And this is, that's what we're seeing up here, right? So one fish only gives 0 0.5 in nutritional value. So what we need to do is, we, we can see, by the way, our full town inventory here, how much water we have on everything else that we've got. So but what we need to do is research, which I'm not actually sure why, where we do. Game mode, snap camera, reset camera, research, okay. You can unlock more advanced construction by researching. You can find the constructions to research through the research panel. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So here we can see some stuff that we can research. So we can research storage yard, house, uh, scrapsmith, plastic recycler, small water container, water container, solar sail, or solar still, sorry, uh, desalinator, fishing hot, fish kebab and a food truck and that's I guess is the research that's in the game for now but remember it's very early access so having what 4, 8, 11 research items I think is actually pretty good right, so there goes that buoy which means that next time he's going to go to I think the wood and grab that and then to the plastic over there and grab that okay So we have 18 water right now. We really need to get some wood action. What we could do is just put a swimming thing here just to get this wood. There's 13 wood there. I think that'll be fine. There comes our fishing boat. But he doesn't have any fish on him. Well, he does. I clipped on Sammy, but I should have clicked on the fishy bathtub. Uh, which is the boat's, boat's name. What's the other one called? The uh, Major Skiff. Alright, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, in the next episode, guys, we are going to move on to the next area. And then we will see what's going on over there. I hope you enjoyed the game. I think it's... Uh, I mean, it's so beautiful. I think the graphics are actually... Absolutely awesome. Uh, look at the sail here and the fishies that we're drying. And yeah, I, I just think the game is awesome. It, it looks really, really amazing. And uh, it's a lot of fun too. So I think so. Hope you think so as well. And that you'll join me for more episodes of uh, Float Sum in the days and weeks to come. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.